mother was forcibly submerged underwater by her own children. Despite her desperate struggles, they showed no sympathy and continued to hold her down. Soon, the mother slowly sank into the depths, ceasing to breathe. Please like and subscribe to save this mother. What people don't know is that the two children did this in order to save their mother because the world had already fallen into a crisis of insomnia. Due to prolonged sleeplessness, people's mental states started deteriorating, leading to acts of violence and destruction on the streets. 99.9% of the population in the city was immersed in the agony of insomnia. At first, the young and beautiful Jenny thought she had consumed too many drinks, so she went to the hospital to get a couple of sleeping pills. However, she was shocked to find out that the price of sleeping pills was more expensive than gold. The doctor informed Jenny that there was only one old lady in the world who could sleep, and she had been taken away by scientists for research. He urged Jenny to hurry home and rest, or else she would risk being trapped and dying due to exhaustion. Upon hearing this, Jenny hurried back home, not because she was worried about being trapped and dying herself, but because she was concerned about her daughter, who could fall victim to the research. However, when she returned home, her daughter had mysteriously disappeared. Her son explained that her daughter and grandmother had gone to the church. Upon hearing this, Jenny felt danger slowly closing in and quickly grabbed her backpack to search for her daughter. Just as she arrived at the church, Mike stepped forward and asked Jenny to bring the girl to the research facility for experimentation. Fortunately, the police arrived just in time and shot Mike dead. After Mike's departure, Jenny realized that hiding was not a solution, so she decided to take a desperate gamble and go to the laboratory to steal the cure to save her family. The mother was teaching her seven-year-old daughter how to shoot a pistol because the world was already engulfed in a crisis of insomnia. Many people were resorting to violence due to sleeplessness, and soon everyone would be trapped and die due to the inability to sleep. To prevent her daughter, who could sleep, from being captured for research, Jenny decided to take her to the research facility to find the cure. However, on their way, Jenny was stopped by a group of escaped prisoners. Fortunately, Jack appeared just in time and rescued them from the clutches of the prisoners. After hearing their story, it was revealed that Jack's energetic state was due to his previous night shifts at the factory, where he had grown accustomed to not sleeping. Jenny had been sleepless for three days and nights. She taught her seven-year-old daughter to drive because reaching the laboratory as soon as possible was their only chance of survival as a family. However, not long after, their path was blocked by a heap of garbage. Upon closer inspection, they noticed several people hanging there. Jenny realized something was wrong and quickly took control of the steering wheel. With the accelerator pressed to the floor, they narrowly escaped a disaster. Shortly after, Jenny successfully arrived at the research facility. However, the guards at the entrance were wide awake and alert, showing no signs of drowsiness. It was only when Jenny saw the police chief inject an unknown substance into one of the guards that she realized it might be the cure. In order to obtain the cure quickly, Jenny infiltrated the laboratory and managed to find a doctor's outfit to disguise herself. She cautiously entered the laboratory and discovered the elderly lady who had been subjected to torture and was barely clinging to life. Just as Jenny was about to save her, she collided with the real doctor. Helplessly, Jenny had to make an excuse and leave. But as she reached the entrance, Jenny found that her daughter and son had been captured by the guards. She tried to intervene, but in the next moment, she was forcefully restrained on the ground. This was a world where people couldn't sleep. Many individuals died on the streets due to sleeplessness. To expedite the research for a cure for insomnia, the research facility had captured the only two people in the world who could sleep for experimentation. The elderly lady who could sleep had already been tormented to death. Seeing her lifeless body, the doctor picked up an electric iron and mercilessly burned her. Despite this, the old lady closed her eyes and died. At this point, the doctor himself had been sleepless for over 100 hours. In order to avoid being trapped and dying, they hurriedly helped each other by injecting stimulants. However, due to their prolonged sleeplessness, Lano forgot to purge the air from the syringe and accidentally killed the female doctor. The soldiers in the laboratory, also suffering from prolonged sleeplessness, started fighting amongst themselves, and everyone in the laboratory began killing each other. Taking advantage of the chaos in the laboratory, Jenny quickly grabbed her daughter and prepared to leave. Unfortunately, her son was struck by a massive electric shock and fell unconscious. Her younger sister rushed into the laboratory and grabbed the iron that the doctor had used earlier. However, since they had never used such a device before, as soon as they plugged it in, the entire family was overwhelmed by a powerful electric current and fell unconscious on the ground. When Jenny woke up, it was already the next day. As she held her son, overwhelmed with grief, 
His eyes suddenly twitched. Her younger sister hurriedly called out to her brother. And to their surprise, he miraculously came back to life and slept soundly for the entire night. Just as the family was preparing to leave the laboratory and return home, the daughter suddenly had a realization. She felt that the reason she could sleep was possible, that she had been submerged underwater for several hours, and her brother had similarly fallen asleep only after being electrocuted. After hearing her daughter's theory, Jenny agreed, and they carried their mother to the lakeside. They submerged Jenny underwater until she no longer showed any signs of life, and then they pulled her out of the water. After a series of rescue efforts, their mother actually woke up, and the two children had thereby saved the entire world.